Hello everyone, how's your life? I hope you are all in a good condition wherever and whenever you are. On this beautiful day, I would like to share my essay and mini research entitled The Essential and Necessity of Wearing School Uniform for the Students in the Academic Performance. Before we start, let me introduce myself first. I'm Novia Karen Sahyanti with student number 039 from Academic Essay Writing Class B. I wrote this essay and the mini research to complete my final examination for the Academic Essay Writing Class. Before we start the discussion, let's have a little discussion too. What comes to our mind when we hear about the word freedom? In the manner of the Merriam-Webster dictionary, it describes a word freedom as the power to do what you want to do, the ability to move or act freely, the state of not being a slave, prisoner, or etc., and also the state of not having or being affected by something unpleasant, painful, or unwanted. A Sicilian proverb once said, who rids himself of his own freedom always finds himself with worry and pain. Remember, the liberty, freedom, and anxiety. Many people nowadays are discussing, debating, or even stipulating about self-freedom. The most debatable thing is freedom to express oneself, especially freedom of dress. Ramandran writes a paper dominated freedom of dress state and private regulation of clothing, hairstyles, jewelry, makeup, tattoos, and piercing. He notes down that freedom of dress is the right to choose the haircut, makeup, overclothes, shoes, head coverings, tattoos, jewelry, and other adornments that make up the public image of our sometimes private individuals. After discussing and hearing the word freedom and freedom of dress as the type of example, a question, have people abused, presumed, or maybe misappropriate freedom of expression cover our mind? As a human being, a balance between freedom and discipline is something solid to be implemented in our daily life. This is also valuable for the freedom of dress, for instance, it is necessary to wear a suit when a secretary goes to work rather than using a t-shirt and short pants. Another example is a fireman using a fireproof suit when he wants to extinguish a burning house. Just imagine when he dresses up with a formal suit, it will not be that practical and the burning house doesn't put it well. To increase and keep the discipline related to the dressing, Wearing a uniform when the students go to school is a general mandatory, especially in Indonesia. Different ponds, different fish. A Quora website addressed a question. Do some Japanese schools not require students to wear a uniform? The most answers say that the people agree to let the students choose their own clothes, which is related to the freedom of dress. Central Java governor Mr. Ganjar Pranowo had an idea that it is not necessary when a school forces the students to buy the uniforms. There are so many pros and cons about the existence of school uniforms. However, people believe that the pros are more subordinative than the cons. This research paper is equipped by journals, websites, and people's opinions to strengthen the idea about the importance of school uniforms existing, especially when the students go to school to attend the regular or online class. Even though the teacher cannot directly monitor and keep an eye on, the students should wear uniforms properly. If the students wear uniforms when they go to school and attend the class, it is increasing equality retaining peer pressure and bullying cases, improving students' discipline, focusing on education and not focusing on how to dress, and also belonging to school pride as a sense of community. Firstly, when the students go to school with a uniform is showing the equality. Equality doesn't always mean treating everyone the same. It can also mean treating individuals in such a way that the end result is the same for everyone. When the students are wearing the same school identity uniforms, 
there is no comparison between the poorest and also the richest, and no contrast between the smarter or even the lazier. Moreover, the students sometimes prefer to make a closer circle, simply called a gang. Having students dressed alike makes them safer, said Frank Quatron, the Lodi District Administrator in New Jersey. What is more, respect for each other will exist since the existence of uniform embraces togetherness, supportivity, and tolerance. Secondly, the subsistence of school uniforms is retaining per pressure and bullying cases or possibility. There are a number of high-class students in the 8th grade and two school child came from the lower economic class. If there is no obligation for wearing a uniform, those high-class students will wear the most expensive, modest, and fashionable outfit as much as possible. Although, those two students who were raised with the economic crisis will wear simple and inexpensive clothes every day when they attend the class. There is no difference between the obsessed or underweight in turn the smart or short-sighted student. When all pupils are dressed alike, competition between students over clothing choices and teasing of those dressed in less expensive or less fashionable garments can be removed. A good school uniform could prevent bullying based on looks or economic background. According to 83% of instructors of the school wear association. Third, improving students to be disciplined people. Children who are taught and nurtured from an early age to be orderly and obedient to the rules of their family or kindergarten will become accustomed to grow up to be responsible and aware of their surrounding environment. Kids who wear school uniforms properly will soon realize the importance of giving respect to others. Imagine if a disciplined student will be a doctor, pilot, teacher, or maybe policeman. If they were accustomed to wear the uniforms best on the decided day, it would be easier for them to continue their habit in a working world. Fourth, when the students go to school using their uniforms, they only focus on education instead of focusing on how they dress or their fashion. Uniforms make it simple for kids to concentrate in class and promote inclusiveness. According to the National Association of Secondary School Principals, when all students wear the same apparel, they are less concerned with how they look and how they fit in with their peers. As a result, they can concentrate on their academics. Lastly, it strengthens the school pride and sense of belonging. When children wear the school uniforms, they feel that they belong to a particular organization. Even after many years of schooling, a uniform helps youngsters feel like they belong to a specific group. This is just another reason why proper school attire is necessary. The more important a situation for education is the society, the tougher the school should be, because excellent discipline is seen and implemented as a way to high academic accomplishment. Society, schools, and parents all want to ensure that pupils study, learn, and progress through a disciplined approach. To sum up, different countries have different rules and different schools have different obligations. The existence of school uniforms help kids increase equality, retaining peer pressure and bullying cases, improving students' discipline, focusing on education and not focusing on how to dress, and also belonging to school pride as a sense of community. Parents save money by adhering to the uniform policy. Teachers have less problems and schools are more cohesive. The existence of school uniforms means not to stonewall the freedom of dress, 
but in effect, school uniforms can help the students to prepare their future to be a disciplined and tidy human. At the end of the day, I would like to say a massive thank you for your time to watch this presentation. I hope that you can get a lot of inspiration so that my essay can develop your insight related to the existence of school uniforms. See you and have a great day!